very much. Hey, I've been asked to uh, help explain Patreon, and uh, my site there is patreon.com and uh, slash someday farm. That's a pretty easy one. And um, a couple different ways um, you can support us, check in. Certainly sharing the page, just like sharing my YouTube page, uh, you know, commenting and all that kind of stuff. Um, and the idea in Patreon, it works very much like YouTube. You go to it, you click a thing, and you're watching a video. Um, I don't believe it lets you sh download the videos like YouTube. Um, but uh, you can go to my page and search uh, for what kind of video you want or just see them as I upload them. I generally upload, uh, you know, um, two to five per week, something like that. Um, and you can go there and search uh, I've tagged every video, some hundreds now, maybe three, 300 or something, 350, I don't know. And I tag each one and I'll say Kung Fu or introductory or footwork or Ne Gong or Mudra or Yi Chuan or Zan Suang or meditation class or workshop, etc. And many of them get tagged with a few things, like if I have a full workshop that includes mudras and stretching, uh, then I'll tag it a few different ways. And that helps you search. Um, some of them are like this one, a few minutes of me talking to the camera about something, maybe something philosophical or uh, in this case, promotional, I guess. Some of them are sort of excerpts from a class some of them are an entire class or workshop. Uh, some of them are, you know, a few minutes of people playing push hands extemporaneously, or obviously a, my weekly push hands class gets posted there too. Hey, Saki, I'm over here, buddy. You just left me. I'm not that far away. Um, so you can go to the site search for things or just, you know, scroll through what I've posted without searching. Um, what I post, I try and vary, very short uh, excerpts, full classes, or a, a sort of uh, complete and coherent, relatively brief lesson that might be a part of a class, but I'll just shape it and say, well, here's a 12 minute lesson with some examples and different views. Um, so that you're not going through the warm-ups and the Q&A and the check-ins and uh, the confusions and questions that might come up in a class. It's just, here's this 17 minutes of teaching this uh, drill, for example. Um, now, in terms of um, supporting financially, my understanding, and it's certainly worth reading the FAQs and so forth, is that you can become a Patreon member, like a patron of me, and do it for free so that you'll be notified when I post free things. Um, and you can post for money, which, of course, is what I hope people do because um, I have an affinity for eating. And uh, as much as I don't like it, I still like to pay my taxes. Uh, so that's nice. And... In terms of paying, what you can do is say, uh, I will give $3 every time Steve posts a video. It's pretty simple. And then every month, Patreon will say, well, Steve posted 10 videos. We're charging you 30 bucks." And you might think, hey, that's great. Totally worth it. I have the money to spare. Uh, you might say, I'll give $10 for every video. At the end of the month, I posted 10 videos. You get charged 100 bucks. You could say, I'll 
spend a dollar and eight cents for a video and I post 10 videos, you get charged 10.08, etc. And of course, Patreon takes their cut and then they send me the rest. That's how these things work. Uh, I guess this is why it's still better for me to have an in-person student, particularly one who just pays cash, <laughs> you know, but what are you gonna do? Uh, hopefully this lets people be reached by the lessons that can't be here, particularly in these quarantine times. And it helps people reach the lessons uh, at different hours and on different dates than they are presented. So my Sunday morning class might not be a class that you can get up for and get out for, uh, but you can watch it Tuesday at 10 p.m. when the kids go to sleep and get what you can get from that. Um, now, when I say that you've typed in, I'll give $2 for every video, and I post 10 videos a month, so it costs you roughly 20 bucks a month. Maybe in the fourth month, I post 200 videos. And you're like, whoa, whoa, all of a sudden I have to pay 400 bucks. Well, that's not really a fair transaction. It's not really um, meeting your expectations. Um, and of course, nobody wants to put them in, put themselves in line for a surprise bill. So what Patreon allows you to do, and this is my understanding, but uh, certainly look in, uh, and read for yourself, but, uh, you can say, I'm going to give Steve $2 per video that he posts, but I don't want to spend more than $20 a month. So here's my budget and you won't be billed beyond your budget. And of course, at the end of the month, you can always unsubscribe or you can change your budget and say, Oh, that's not, that's not too bad. I'd rather raise the budget or raise the amount per video, but lower the budget total or whatever. So it seems to me that the platform doesn't put you at undue risk for unexpected charges. For my part, I endeavor to post a similar amount of content all the time so that it's not too much to manage. Um, and the costs are going to be similar for somebody that stays at their same rate and budget on a monthly basis. And so a lot of people just end up paying $4 a month total. That's their budget. And then they have access to whatever I'm posting. Um, what I do is I'll post a number of things that are public that anybody can go to, a number of things that are only available to patrons. And very occasionally I post things that are only available to patrons at a at a higher level of patronage. Um, and really it's just a, an attempt to try and offer those people who kick in a lot more something different. Um, Patreon members for me also get access to my weekly Zoom class, uh, which is Thursdays. It's a standing class, 11 a.m. Eastern, and you can log in live. I tend to post it on Patreon as a free post for patrons so they can see it. And I offer it free in person for people that want to be in person to practice. But Patreon members can get the Zoom access information and actually log in live from um, uh, elsewhere. Um, so I try and post very small things, occasional promotional things, I guess, uh, moderate length things, uh, old workshops. I've been posting some audio only things for people to be able to kind of listen in their car or like podcast style, um, you know, and full workshops um, or lectures or, you know, just a, a longer thing. And then I try and do things that are, uh, you know, practices, studying, corrections, free play, form development, applications um, to try and broadly offer it because even if I might be posting um, 16 to 20 things a month, any given person is likely only to be interested in three or four. They don't really go in for the poetry. They don't really go in for the standing practice. They don't really go in for the Kung Fu, but they really like the footwork and the drills and the weapons. Where somebody else might really like the Neigong, the Qigong, the Yichuan, uh, but they don't study my form of Tai Chi Chuan, so they skip the Tai Chi lessons. So I offer more than I think any given person is going to take in, but hopefully it's enough for everybody. And 
in what I offer, I try and offer uh, some free, some patron only, and uh, some paid. And I aim for about 50 to 60% free uh, to Patreon members and the rest paid. So that's my feeling is that that feels fair to me that I'm, it's, it's kind of a half and half and I try and push a little bit more free. Um, and I think you can look when you lock in, you'll see that there things are locked or not locked. I think there's like a padlock symbol. Maybe it says paid or free post. I'm not sure. Um, but you can see what it is and you can always log in and check like what, I, what's my exposure here this month. Um, and you can see, and I think my understanding is once you're a member, you can scroll back and look at old stuff. Um, you're not just limited to new things. The general idea is that behind the platform is that for me, I get to say, look, uh, you know, where, I forgot where my phone is. Let's see. Oh, I have this many subscribers and they are paying this much. And so that means if I put in um, the time to record this, which for me, <clears throat> uh, I'll talk about in a minute, I guess. But if I put in the time to record this, here's what I stand to gain, right? So my... Uh, patrons have promised this much money per video. And then that helps me decide, can I afford to do this? Um, will this pay? And of course, these days, very little pays uh, in terms of the, you know, the work I do, right? Uh, in terms of ministering to students and people unable to pay tuition. So at any rate, um, for me to teach an hour-long class, which is what my career has been, and people come in, good to see you. We teach for an hour and see you next week. It might take me, you know, two and a half hours to create an hour long video because I have to record it, which is a bunch of setting up and charges and stuff, and then transfer it and then label it and then upload it, then relabel it, then link it, then share it, and then um, um, put it in my listing of videos, I guess, my index. Uh, so anyway, well, there's, it's a lot more time than it used to be just to get a given amount of information across, but I'm learning how to do it. I'm not here to complain. Uh, but Patreon does let me see like, okay, I'm going to get paid this much if I go to the trouble of recording this. Um, so it really is a community that's designed to help creators like me, um, know ahead of time what value there will be in their bank account for the effort they propose to do. Um, I don't do an awful lot of behind the scenes stuff, which people do on Patreon. I really just want to go for the content, um, which means uh, it's not always uh, the highest quality uh, production values, but I do try and change it and let people see the property in different places. So the scenery changes. And if you're at home in the same dining room, watching yet another Zoom or Patreon or YouTube session, at least the view is changing. Uh, so that's my thinking. Certainly, if you have other questions, please, please, please ask away. I'll do my best to answer them. I don't want to promise that I know the platform that well. Um, but I haven't had anybody seek a refund or get charged uh, uh, more than they were fairly expecting or anything. Um, so I thank you in advance for your support um, at any level of support. And that would include liking, subscribing, and following, and commenting, and sharing, and all that. So, thank you.